Hi, I'm Pete Delahorse, Director of Field Support here at Crown Plastics Company, and welcome to this edition of Make It Stick, the video series where we're using our unique capability and technology here at Crown Plastics Company. We can take our DuraSurf UH&W products and help make them stick for you. As you know, there are many, many opportunities where UHMW can be adhered in a wide variety of applications. But one of the things we have to understand is that pressure sensitive systems do have some limitations. There are markets, so there are some substrates where pressure sensitive systems are not gonna work very well. Now, whenever we come across a situation like that, we like to recommend what we call our treated for bonding material. And what we'll do in this case is we'll take our DuraSurf UHMW material and we'll actually treat it where it can be bonded with a variety of liquid adhesive systems such as contact cements or epoxies. One such environmental application would be the marine industry. This is a very harsh environment. It really exceeds uh, what a pressure sensitive system can do. Currently, there are four areas of the marine market that were involved. Number one would be the drift boat market, which primarily exists up in the Pacific Northwest. There are duck boats, there are jet boats, and the new market that we're looking to get involved in this spring is going to be the airboat market, which is very prominent in Florida, Louisiana, and Texas. Many of you may not be aware, but almost every airboat that you see down in Louisiana, Texas, or Florida has UHMW on the bottom. The problem is it's three eighths of an inch thick. Many have the mindset that all of this product has to be mechanically fastened. So they're using three eighths of an inch thick, they're drilling 800 holes in the bottom of these airboats. What they don't realize is that the bolt head actually takes up one quarter of an inch. So they're really only achieving one eighth of an inch of wear surface. When that wears through, they have to rip the entire boat bottom off, plug up those initial 800 holes and drill 800 new ones. This is a very labor intensive process. In addition, the three ace material is adding an additional 200 pounds per boat. What we are, uh, what we are offering is a product that's one eighth of an inch thick that can be epoxied onto the boat, which eliminates all the mechanical fastening, eliminates putting all the holes in the hull, which is a problem, but it also reduces weight and enhances performance of the boat. And this can be done so much faster and so much less costly than the traditional sheet material. Let's show you how we do it. We'll take the UHMW material, we will abrade it, and treat it where it can be bonded using an epoxy system. The first step is to abrade the bottom of the boat to give the epoxy more surface contact and more surface area to adhere to. We will then apply an epoxy system to both the substrate and the UHMW and put the material in place. Now we've carefully selected an epoxy system that works very well with our product in this environment. It's called a Huntsman 8595. This material has about a one hour work life, so you have plenty of time to work with the material. Once the product is in place, we lay the plastic sheeting over, followed by a breather material, and we prep it for what we call a vacuum bagging process. Now the breather material is also called a venting cloth and during the vacuum bag process, it'll allow air to be drawn from inside the vacuum bag and create atmospheric pressure and suck the product down to the substrate. We use a two-sided tape to actually seal the perimeter and make sure that it is an airtight seal. Once we create the proper seal, we hook up the vacuum generators and you can either use an electric vacuum generator or you can use items such as these, which are called Venturi's, which actually can hook up to any basic air compressor. But using atmospheric pressure, it draws the material down to the substrate and keeps everything under nice, even pressure while the epoxy cures. This particular boat was actually done in a two-stage process where we coated the ridges first and then we went back a second time and actually filled in the slats in between. This is a duck boat or a jet boat, which actually sees a lot of abuse by rocks and gravel bars, so they wanted complete coverage on the bottom of the boat. All right, so what are the lessons that we've learned from our video series today? Obviously, number one, we have to have a very good understanding of the environment that our product is going to be exposed to. This is going to determine whether we use a pressure sensitive system or we go to an epoxy system. But either way, that is going to determine, number two, the adhesive selection that we go with. 
Of course, one thing we always have to remember is proper surface preparation. So whether again, you're going with a pressure sensitive system or a product that's treated for bonding, making sure we have a clear understanding of how that surface is to be prepped and also making sure that we use proper pressure, whether it's with a roller with a pressure sensitive system or a vacuum bag with the epoxy system. So again, we invite you to send some suggestions to us at crownplastics.com and together we'd like to show how we can make DuraSurf stick for you.